In previous videos, we learned about carbohydrates and amino acids and proteins. These were two classes of biological molecules. In this video, we'll learn about a third type of biological molecule known as lipids. Lipids are biological molecules that are insoluble in water. Lipids are insoluble due to a large part of their structure being composed of hydrocarbons, in other words, predominantly carbons and hydrogen. Even though lipids have in common that they're insoluble in water, the actual structures of liquids are quite varied. In these next few videos, we'll look at some of the more common types of lipids and help distinguish between each of the different types. For now, let's take a brief look comparing lipids to the carbohydrates and amino acids or proteins. You should recognize by now that carbohydrates have about one hydroxyl group or OH group for every carbon in their structure. Amino acids should be recognized because they have an amine group on the carbon, the alpha carbon, of a carboxylic acid. As we just mentioned, lipids will have a significant portion of their structure that is composed of hydrocarbons or carbon and hydrogens. These are three examples of each of the different types. As you go through this video learning about lipids, you should pay attention to the different types of structures and recognize that they all have large hydrocarbon portions to their structure. The first type of lipid we'll introduce are some of the simplest lipids, the fatty acids. Fatty acids are carboxylic acids with long hydrocarbon chains. Typically, natural occurring fatty acids will have an even number of carbons. You've probably heard the terms saturated and unsaturated. When applied to fatty acids, it means saturated fatty acids will have all of their carbon-carbon bonds as single bonds. Unsaturated fatty acids have one or more carbon-carbon double bonds. In general, the melting point of fatty acids increases as the number of carbons increases. When we have an unsaturated fatty acid with a double bond, the double bonds in naturally occurring fatty acids will typically be in a cis conformation. This cis conformation of the double bond creates a bend in the chain and so fatty acids will pack less tightly together. Since they're packed less tightly together, their dispersion forces will be weaker, and so unsaturated fatty acids typically have lower melting points than saturated fatty acids with the same number of carbons. In general, the more unsaturated the fatty acid, the lower the melting point will be. Omega fatty acids are unsaturated fatty acids in which the double bond begins at the certain number in the name of the omega fatty acid. We start counting from the CH3 end of the fatty acid. We use the le Greek letter omega because that's the last letter of the Greek alphabet. So if we say we have an omega-3 fatty acid, that means that the first double bond begins at the third carbon from the end of the fatty acid chain. Here are four examples of fatty acids. Palmitic acid is an unsaturated fatty acid with 16 carbons. Stearic acid is an unsaturated fatty acid with 18 carbons. Oleic acid is a monounsaturated fatty acid and it's also an omega-9 unsaturated fatty acid because when counting from the CH3 end we see that the double bond begins on the ninth carbon from that end. Like stearic acid, oleic acid has 18 carbons in its carbon chain. Linolenic acid is a polyunsaturated fatty acid and it's also an omega-3 fatty acid. As stearic acid and oleic acid it also has 18 carbons. When we look at the series of double bonds, we see that the first double bond occurs on the third carbon from the CH3 end of the fatty acid. 